Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And I'll be honest with you, I've tried to do this video now five times, and I keep having to re-record because sometimes I get a little bit too excited. And you guys let me know every time I ramble on for too long, but you know, when I'm excited about product, I want you guys to, uh, I guess, get the fact that I'm excited about it and really feel uh, my emotion towards a product. And when I get a product that's really a game changer, uh, what can I say? I get excited about it. And the product I want to share with you guys today is by a company called Core Essentials, and they primarily make belts. Now, they are more geared for the men, but these are belts that a woman could wear as well. Um, I've seen plenty of women's belts that were thicker, larger. It really comes down to the person and what they're most comfortable wearing. But not only is this belt an awesome fashion accessory, which is what belts are a lot of the times, they're also a, they're also a very important tool. And guys, I've joked around about it in the past. I have no butt. Now, don't get me wrong, the butt that I do have is a very nice coconut shaped, perfect butt, but there's not much of it. And when guys, if you deal with not having a butt, you know it's really hard to keep your pants up. No matter, you know, no matter how my weight fluctuates, and my weight fluctuates depending on diet and, and exercise between 160 and 185 pounds, and you know, it's always, my, my weight is always changing. It's never really consistent. It may be consistent for a couple of months, but it's always fluctuating. And so a real problem that I have is not only having the butt, but that weight fluctuation causes me to never, never really get a belt that fits. Well, that is until this style of belt. And this is a ratcheting, micro-adjusting belt. And instead of having or a holeless belt, and instead of having holes like your traditional buckle, this belt uses this sewn-in, heavy durable plastic insert and what there are on there is about 40 to 50 micro adjustments in the shape of a small kind of triangular ledge uh super durable not made of any kind of cheap plastic it's going to break this is extremely tough there's play to it it's not brittle it's not going to break on you and this is going to be able to give you micro adjustment i'd say within about quarter inch increments so you go out and have a huge meal, you can cinch this out a little bit. You're always going to get a custom tailored belt on the fly. And there's not many products that you can get that will give you micro adjustment or finite tuned adjustment on the fly like this product right here. Now I have reviewed belts like this in the past by a company called Anson. And towards the end of the video, I want to share with you guys the differences, the subtle differences between both brands and which one I think is actually better value and better made. So um, first off, I want to thank Core Essentials for their generosity and sending me these two belts to review and share with you guys. And I've been waiting all week for these because I, I got to tell you, you know, fellas, when I first got my hands on a micro adjusting belt, when I'd see these out before I actually, you know, reach out to the company, said, let me get my hands on, let me see what this is all about. Before I did that, I was very content with just wearing an inexpensive black belt with holes. And I'll tell you right now, you know, my last job supplied me uh, as part of without disclosing too much, because you guys know I'm pretty private, I uh, was uniformed. And of course, my, uh, my, my belts were supplied. And so I always had belts. And they were decent quality. They were black leather. They were basic. They held up pretty well. But I'll tell you also that over the years, a lot of my belts that I have, uh, the holes always wear out. They always stretch. You never get the proper fit out of your belt when you first buy it. It always stretches. The damn thing always, the hole always stretches out. Sometimes they rip. They never hold up. And they're never super comfortable. You're never, you know, if I go out and have a huge meal or eat a lot of food or I'm bloated or, or whatever the case may be, it, it's never comfortable, you know? And for a guy like me who's constantly having to adjust my belt, um, this this style is a game changer. And Core Essentials, in my opinion, is making the best, uh, I guess I kind of ruined the surprise there. I ruined the comparison, sorry. Core Essentials is really making the best quality micro adjusting belt. So I do want to go to the website, which I encourage you to check out as well. And guys, again, if you're wearing a standard belt, step up your game, spend the, spend a little extra money. You're going to go into a place like Walmart or, 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 or um, you know, a men's warehouse or, or Macy's, wherever you may shop and buy a belt off the shelf. And you're going to pay about 30 bucks for it anyway. The price point of these belts is fantastic. You're going to get something that's going to last, that's of really high quality. And the second belt I want to share with you guys, guys, if you're a guy who uh, is a con concealed carry uh, permit holder and or if you're into security or law enforcement and you wear a belt like most guys do unless you're like a police officer which you're issued a, a, a specific um, um, gear belt uh, it might be a little bit different but for 
people who for fellas or, or people out there who get to wear their own type of belt, you got to check these out because these are purpose driven and you're going to get the best fit and comfort uh, really of anything out there. So uh, let's let me first off show you the one that they were uh, nice and semi. This is more of their uh, casual style belt. It's not their tactical or their concealed carry belt. Uh, this one's made of a kind of a textured leather. Uh, I chose the gray in both these because I didn't have a gray belt. It's nice smooth leather, high quality leather. Uh, you could just smell the quality of leather. It smells like I'm walking into a like a western store, you know. Um, it's definitely not cheap. There are increments on the back for measurement. So if you want to go ahead and trust these, you could actually just uh, snip this to where you think your waistline is. But what I would encourage you guys to do uh, is before you snip this and make a mistake, remember you can always remove more, you can't bring it back. So I would go ahead and test this on your body first and kind of figure out your, your, your best fit as far as length. And what you do is they're going to give you quite a bit of length on this. So if you're a larger guy, uh, this belt's going to fit you. If you're a smaller guy, you can adjust this belt, I mean, really far down to really whatever you want. I mean, really, this you can get this down to like this. I mean, if you, not that anybody, you know, is that small, but the thing is you have a lot of adjustment and a lot of uh, customization with this product. Uh, this is one of their titanium styled uh, belt buckles. There's a whole slew of belt buckles. And how this works is basically you have this little kind of uh, insert right here. And what you're gonna do is basically find out where this belt's gonna fit you the best. You're gonna snip it with a scissor, put it inside this slot, and you're gonna fold this um, kind of latch down. And there's teeth on the inside that's gonna grip the belt and keep the buckle in place. Cool thing about this too is you can add different buckles and accessorize this uh, you know, to your heart's content. Whatever style you're looking for, whatever color you're looking for, they have a whole bunch of different belt buckles for you to choose from. So, um, and I'll tell you guys which one this is in just a second. So that's about it as far as the belt construction. Um, what I also like about this belt too, compared to, and let's get into the comparison. I do have uh, the Anson belt right here. Very similar in design. You can see the Anson belt right here. Very, very similar. Same kind of insert, the micro adjustment. Um, I think though on the Core Essentials, you have about, you do, on the Core Essentials belt, you have about an inch and a half more adjustment. So um, that's really great that they added in there. So, I mean, you, you're going to have just that much more room to play. Uh, should you, you know, be a person who maybe, maybe you lost a lot of weight, you know, your weight really fluctuated, uh, you're not going to have to really, you know, throw us away or get something else. So that's fantastic. That's one difference. The other difference is that on the belt where they stitch, and I believe this is the outside of the belt to the inside of the belt. On the Anson belt, again, this has been a fine belt. Don't be wrong, not bashing the product at all. Uh, still a great quality belt. But one thing they've done on the Core Essentials belt is they've double stitched it. So you have double stitching across the entire front of the belt, which is all the way through the back. This one is made of full grain leather. Uh, you can just feel the quality of this belt. That This thing is going to fall apart and unravel. And the, the real part of a belt that fails is going to be the holes from the buckle. This, you're not going to have this problem. This is going to last you years and years, uh, if not forever. So I've been wearing my other belt, which is, again, the Anson, which is very similar, uh, for probably about, you know, almost two years now. And it doesn't show any signs of wear. And this, I mean, is, in my opinion, even better quality uh, than the Anson belts, which are still, don't get me wrong, still great, not bashing the brand, but this d definitely is a little bit of a step up, okay? Now, as far as price point these here, and let me go to their website, um, they have a couple They have a couple different things you can get. You can get a classic gift set, which I believe has two belts and two buckles. Uh, that's the type that they sent me. Um, and you have different, different, let me just go, just double check here. You have a couple different variations on buckles. Uh, that's gonna run you $94. If you wanna go ahead and get a single belt and buckle, uh, you're gonna pay about 50 bucks. Uh, and there's several different ones. You can get a titanium buckle. Uh, you get a, a, a buckle that looks more like the standard buckle where you have your, uh, where you normally traditionally have your holes and that kind of metal bar that goes through the hole. You can basically get a whole bunch of different variations. I'm not gonna walk you through every single thing on here. What I want you guys to do is click the link and check it out for yourself. Look at different price points. And again, guys, remember, you might be seeing yourself 50 bucks for a belt, eh, I don't know. Think about what you're gonna pay if you walk into a, just a big box store and get a belt that's not gonna last you very long. You're gonna pay at least I mean, even when I would go to Kmart, when the Kmart in this area was still around, you're going to pay at least 20 bucks for a belt. And I'd much rather spend my money on a product that's going to last and most importantly, give me the comfort and that micro-adjusting, like custom-tailored 
um, uh, custom tailor uh, option that, that than a belt that is constantly like uncomfortable. You know, and I, there are, have been belts in the past, standard traditional belts that I have taken a hot nail and burned a hole in to get an extra extra hole. But you know, when you start to put that hole in between, you know, usually they're about one inch increments. I'm sorry, but nobody's waist is an exact 31 or 32. You know, and when you do that, you create an area or a potential for that belt to fail quicker. So these these are not only um, extremely durable, they look good. The price point is is competitive. Um, you know, and, and again. You go to a men, like an actual men's store, look what belts cost. I'm just using Kmart or Walmart just as an entry level example. You're gonna pay upwards of $100 if you go to like an actual men's store to get a belt. So the price point on these is a no brainer. They're super affordable. You have a lot of different color options, black, gray, different textures. Uh, you can get uh, titanium buckles, standard, um, just uh, I believe they're just like a standard gunmetal buckle. There's all different styles and colors for you to choose from. There's different kits you can get. Um, they have a lot of different options. As far as color, on the full grain belts, you have the choice of black, cordovan, brown, cognac, tan, gray, and white. Again, I would have gotten, um, you know, a different, uh, maybe the white, because I love white. Uh, white belts are fantastic. Uh, but I already have a white from, uh, from a different company. So uh, with this, I... It's really hard to find gray, and so I opted for the gray. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the second belt they sent me. And this one, I was, I got to tell you, really excited. I was excited to get the other belt, but super excited to get this. And this is their, let me just go back to the webpage here so I have the information on hand here. This is their, what they call their EDC belts, okay, everyday carry. And these are purpose-driven. And so I just have a piece that I cut off. You can see uh, for a guy who I wear my jeans, again, depending on brand, I wear my jeans between a 30 up to about a 33. Again, every brand's a little bit different as far as how it fits. Um, and so this is how much I cut off of this belt. So if you're a really big guy, this is roughly, what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is roughly, I'd say about 26 inches I cut off this belt in order for it to fit me. So, fellas, if you're a really big boy and you have a hard time finding a belt, this is going to fit you. But if before you order it, go to the website. They'll tell you exactly the size this will fit up to, okay? So, the difference between their everyday carry belts and their standard uh, dress slash casual belts is that inside these belts, they have a core. So, as far as thickness, the belt doesn't really feel physically that much thicker than the standard belt, which is very comfortable. But there's a huge difference in the, I would say, durability and the, uh, I'd say, the structural integrity of the belt. This is extremely hard. Uh, this is definitely something that's not going to dis, uh, not going to um, distort. And guys, you know, when you, I'm not an everyday carry person, but I am a gun collector. I do like firearms. Um, but one thing I have noticed is when I've gone shooting or if I, I am carrying a holster and there are, I do live in a state which is, it's open carry. So there are times if I'm going camping or going out boating, um, I will bring my firearm with me and I'll just keep it open carry. But the problem is, is that standard belts, uh, they twist, they turn, they distort, okay? And I'll even tell you that even this belt here, even though it's more of a standard casual, you know, jeans, dress kind of belt, this belt is a lot more stiff uh, than a lot of the belts that I've ever had from other companies in the past or just standard leather. So with their EDC carry belts, they really step it up by putting that internal core inside here. And you can kind of see from the, the cross section, you have this webbing material, you have a, what I, appears to be a leather on the back. And then of course, this internal core, this thing you can't bend. I mean, if you were to put this down on the ground and try to step on it, this is not gonna bend and I, 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 or distort at all. So when you have your firearm on there, or you might have some handcuffs, you might have a baton, whatever you may carry on a belt, this is not gonna distort. And one thing I've read about other guys who, have, uh, who are avid um, firearm enthusiasts and do carry a firearm often, is that one thing that's really important is not to have that flex. So when you go to grab your firearm and you pull that gun out uh, in any kind of potential situation, or even if you're a competition, you're shooting, um, you know, and, and there are time for, uh, again, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, professional shooter or anything like that, but when guys are actually pulling their firearm out, sometimes if that belt distorts, it can slow down the process. You want to have something that's going to be extremely rigid and not going to flex at all. And this is perfect for that. This thing, 
Uh, in my opinion, just by the build quality compared to other belts that I've had, this is going to last, I mean, this should last a lifetime. I mean, really. Now, that is not my guarantee, but you can really feel the build quality and, of course, um, just, just the structural integrity of this belt. So, again, you can pick whatever belt buckle you want. They have a couple different colors. Uh, you have kind of a, you know, what would be considered a tactical black. Uh, you have a... Um, it looks like they have on here, they also have a brown leather gun belt, which probably has the same core, but I'm not 100% because they didn't send me that one. Uh, they have this awesome kind of copper color, OD green, um, and several different buckle variations. So what I did is I opt for, this one here is their X6 belt buckle. So you have your core logo right on there. You have kind of like the chevrons, uh, this cool kind of uh, honey, what I would consider almost like a honeycomb shape buckle and what's cool about these buckles as a, compared to the standard uh dress slash casual buckle is that not only do you have the the lever with the teeth that actually grip the belt once you cut it and size it but you have two allen wrench uh screws set screws and that's going to take a real bite so you have two different methods or three different points to really bind the belt buckle to the to the belt itself so you don't have any potential for this thing coming loose once it's on it's on and i can tell you this thing is of super high quality, extremely rigid. Um, all the stitching on the back, they've double stitched the edges and then they stitched two grooves down the center, which is actually what holds the micro adjustments in. But also they went, they took that stitching all the way down the full length of the belt, which is gonna stitch the core to the outer and inner layer. So this thing is super rigid. Uh, you can just feel the quality of this belt. And this is something that I wouldn't mind having a couple different colors of this because uh, this is just something that that if, if you need something that's going to be very rigid, again, for that concealed carry, or just something that's going to be of super high quality and last you, um, this is your belt. I mean, guys who work in construction, I mean, even if you're not somebody who, who carries a firearm all the time or, you know, or um, tools on your belt, like, I mean, law enforcement tools or whatnot, or security tools, this is definitely something that a, a guy in construction could use. Um, I know I have, you know, my tool belt for when I'm just doing stuff around the house um, you know, little projects in the backyard or whatever. You know, my belt came with a uh, kind of just a standard clip belt. That's, I mean, it's always flopping around. Uh, my tools are constantly kind of sagging. With this, you could actually take this belt and put your tool bag on this. It'd be a huge improvement over what normally comes uh, with a lot of standard tool belts. So again, not a tool expert by any means, but um, for whatever, uh, the point is, whatever you may need to carry around your waist on a belt, this is a game changer. I mean, um, super rigid, again, super tough and super durable. And you can just see when I pop this together, I mean, this thing just doesn't, this is like we'd expect out of like a cowboy's lasso. I mean, absolutely fantastic. I mean, it does not take shape or it does not change shape. And I actually saw this guy, he actually did a video on this belt because um, he was a guy who's everyday carrying, kind of has like a defense channel and he actually left this on the floor. And so warning, he left this on the floor, he was walking barefoot, he stepped on it, and it was so rigid, it actually hurt his foot. So don't leave this on the floor, don't let the girl step on this, don't anybody hurt themselves. So that's about it, folks. I mean, Core Essentials, uh, fantastic quality, fantastic belt. I'm so happy that the company was nice enough to send me these belts for review to share with you guys on the channel. Um, I will say again that I think that this is a better quality belt than its competitor, Anson. Um, again, nothing wrong with Anson. I still think it's a great belt. I still continue to wear the belts. Uh, but again, personally, if I had the choice between uh, making the purchase to spend the money on a really high quality, custom tailored, adjustable belt, I would go with the Core Essentials, especially with their tactical EDC version. I mean, it, when you get this, uh, you will feel the quality. You will know this thing is going to last you uh, for an extremely long time, if not a lifetime. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So that's about it, guys. I want to thank, again, Core Essentials for the generosity and sending me this product. Oh, and before I forget, another optional accessory. I almost forgot. If you are going to get these belts, okay, there is an accessory you might say to yourself, I don't need that. I want you to get it. And that's this thing right here. And this is just a kind of a hard, I would, looks like an ABS plastic. Um, I know it looks like something you would buy that, or that would come with a belt like off the rack, but this is uh, their storage, uh, their closet storage, what do you call it? Like a cl closet storage cook. Uh, let me just get you a price point on this here. Um, all right, so it's their belt hanger. I screwed that up, I butchered it. But it's their belt hanger. What's really great about this is that when you have a belt that's this rigid, um, 
you know, it might be a little difficult to put this. You might have to, I mean, I know, I mean, this isn't rocket science, but this is a really nice way to store your belt. So if you want to go ahead and store the belt, hang it in the closet. Because the belt is so rigid, it really likes to hang open. Uh, you go ahead and get one of these. Go ahead and pop this on here, and it ratches just like it does on its micro-adjusting uh, insert on the inside of the belt, but it ratches on the hook. And so you can put this in your closet, have a whole slew of these hanging, and uh, you're good to go. I mean, it's just a great way to store your belts. Uh, enough for two, obviously. And I don't know if you guys are... Uh, I'm pretty anal when it comes to being organized. I'm like uh, OCD when it comes to keeping things neat and clean. And this is fantastic. I could pop this in my closet and uh, be done with it. So uh, definitely something that I would, wouldn't mind getting. These are only four bucks. So I wouldn't mind getting a couple of these just because they do fit my other, um, like my Anson belts. And those are just wrapped up in my drawer. Uh, That's a great way to hang them and just tuck them way out of the closet. So uh, definitely check that out. Check out their website. Uh, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. If I can help you guys in any way answer any questions, I don't believe I'm going to really need to answer any questions because it's pretty much self-explanatory how this works. But I will tell you that this is a great product. And if you're, again, you're using a standard belt, chuck that thing in the trash. Wait till these come in the mail, though, and pick up a couple of these belts. They're absolutely fantastic. And after ha wearing something like this, you'll never go back to a traditional belt. I can, I can almost guarantee you. Uh, they're just a no-brainer. And for guys, I mean, it's all about looking good, being comfortable, and having something that not only is just you know a great fashion accessory, but extremely functional and comfortable. So that's it, folks. Once again, thank you for watching the ch watching the video. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. If you do, click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Link is in the description. Um, even if you're not in the market right now for a belt, go to the website, check them out. I'm sure you'll make a purchase regardless. So all right, guys, have a wonderful day and take care.